My name is Wayne O'Brien. I am Chief Operating Officer of the Western Plant Region, headquartered out of Denver, Colorado. I've been with Garney 19 years. Employee ownership means to me that I've worked only for two other companies besides Garney. And all, both of those companies were good companies, but by working at Garney, the goals, the philosophies, the culture of this company, it just stands out far beyond just your normal work activities. All, all jobs you have to work and you have the same tasks to do, but you get up every morning, put your boots on, and you actually want to come to work for Garney because you enjoy the culture and the people and the philosophies and goals of this company. As a whole, it's very unique. I mean, I don't know, I try to tell people, I don't know why you'd want to work for any other company, whether it's construction or any other type. It's just because it's such a, a solid foundation um, that cares about its employees. It, it tries to be successful in every way with customers, um, make sure that the people in the that work for Garney are successful and I, I just don't know why anybody would want to work anywhere else and I try to explain that. And besides the benefits, the benefits that Garney offers is extraordinary. Um, it really is but you still have to like what you do and I think that's what sets this company apart from the rest of the companies I've been around. I was never into superheroes and Marvel, I know there's a lot of movies on Marvel, but you know, if I had to pick one, I, I'm sure this sounds cliche, but why not pick the Aesop man? I think he's pretty cool, you know? Yeah, so, and I know the guys who created it, so that helps too, so. I wanted to be a baseball player. I played baseball from as long as I could hold a glove and throw a ball, and I played all through, you know, middle school, high school, varsity, um, even had an opportunity to go play for a a mid-level college um, and I was a pitcher um, but you have to have a really good arm and I hurt I injured my arm in that in uh, my senior year in high school and I just couldn't proceed it anymore so courageous I think probably again uh, there's a lot of things and it depends on how you look at it um, I think asking my wife to marry me at the age of 23 We've now been married for 34 years. Was um, That was very courageous for me at that time because I was shy and um, stuff. So that's one. The other was probably early in my youth. I did a lot of sports, like I said, baseball. Um, I was actually a boxer, golden gloves. Um, I actually rodeoed a little bit. So I think the first time I got on a, on a bowl, um, didn't, didn't spend very much time on that bowl, but that was, that was, a, for me, that was, it took a lot of guts for me to do that, so. Best advice. Um, you know, time, time is not infinite. It is infinite in some words, but we all have a, a time clock and you don't know what that is. <clears throat> so my best advice is to realize that, try to make the most out of every day that you can and um, use it wisely. And just remember that um, there's that old saying, don't put off tomorrow what you could do today. I really believe that. Um, try to get as much done as you can and be productive, but enjoy life as well, along the way too. Um, so that's, I guess that would be my best advice. I like to work on cars. Um, not, uh, I just enjoy um, tinkering with them and fixing them up and trying to make them look as good as they did or better than they did when they were new, some of the older ones. Um, right now, it would be a, a Shelby Mustang, GT500. Would be one of my favorite cars. Anything from the 2007 era up to the 2012 era. Early in my career, my um, one of the most exciting things, I think, and it was also a little bit scary, um, was um, I accepted, I bid a project, um, design build project, and then ultimately went and built it on Wake Island, which is 2,012 miles west of Honolulu. It's just a little atoll out in the middle of nowhere. There's a lot of history. Um, you know, Wake Island was captured about the same time on December 7, 1942, Pearl Harbor. Everybody remembers Pearl Harbor when the Japanese, that's when it started World War II. So um, Wake has the longest runway 
in the Pacific and it was very strategic for both the Japanese and for the Americans because their planes couldn't carry enough fuel to fly all the way from Japan to Honolulu. So both entities wanted that island and I had the opportunity to go out there and build a missile launch facility for the Department of Defense as design build. Um, so that was a pretty cool experience. If I had a spirit animal, I would probably say a dog. <laughs> dogs are, you know, do dogs are just, uh, they're always your best friend, you know, they don't ever seem to be down no matter what your mood is. And uh, they like to take naps and, you know, they're, they're kind of lazy sometimes. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, if I have to be reincarnated, maybe I'll come back as one of those. <laughs> a large dog. I don't want to be a little yippy dog. That's important. I can't be a little yippy dog. <laughs>